Hello ladies and gentlemen, James Spilling here once again for those that love sound and, and fun stuff. So for those that know me, I sometimes take a library from my company and I do a track only using that library. So a fellow sound lover, um, you know who you are, um, inspired me and I accepted their challenge to uh, do a one track, one instrument. Now, it's not just an instrument where you've got a piano or you've got a violin. No, we had the fever. We had a fever for the cowbell. Um, challenge accepted. So, <laughs> yeah, I took a cowbell and I ran the track to it. So in order to do a track only using a sample like this, um, you need an effects engine. What better time to play with a new effects plugin? Now this is from Lunatic Audio and this is Narcotic. So my challenge was to write a track only using a cowbell. <laughs> And my personal challenge was to use basically just the stock plugins that come with my DAW, Pro Tools in this case, and this narcotic uh, plugin. So I wrote a track and uh, uh, I used this picture to inspire me. Um, so it's a sort of a Sherlocky CSI thing, a man searching for clues. Wow, he's got a magnifying glass. What else? So it's a sort of funnish mystery suspense ooh, investigation type thing montage anyway so for those that want to hear the full track straight away just go to the minutes and seconds down below press full track and you'll hear the cowbell um in all its glory but for those that want to stick around i will show you this plugin um this narcotic engine um it's a lot of fun i'll show you what you can do with it i'll show you how i've used it and how i've created this weird track <laughs> I had a lot I had a lot of fun doing with this so so um thank you for the inspiration and the challenge ladies and gentlemen this is the cowbell but featuring narcotic by lunatic audio so ladies and gentlemen uh let me just show you the sample and where it was from uh this is my easy drummer 2 for those that don't know um on the top right hand corner you have claps, shakers and tambourines. But if you do this drop down menu right at the bottom is the cowbell. There we go, that's what we're playing with. Let me just put that on loop and I will show you what we are dealing with. This is narcotic everybody, this is the plugin. Um, first things first, you can resize it, love that. Now this is an X and a Y, um, little sequencer. You can do all sorts of that, you see, and then and then it basically shows you what you're doing. Now, in extreme events, this becomes incredibly I ah. So I change the size to do that. I mean, how cool is that? The fact that you can have that and that a big plus for me. Love it. So um let's just play with some presets, shall we? Here's the loop. There we go. Let's do a preset, shall we? Chop, let's chop it, catch up delay. So that's catch up delay, let's have another one. Digit sprinkler. Dual mode. That's cool. again yeah and that's just um, a few um, so pretty cool right let me show you what you've got so let me let me just create something for you and show you how easy it is there's the sample. Now let's make something. So let's pick, I don't know, a delay, because we like delays. And here we go. You have all of these lovely things. Now, I don't want to filter cut off you. So there we go. No, we don't want that. So offset right, delay right. Now, let's put a reverb on that size you have a mix control of all of these another one i don't know let's go steroids that sounds fun what's this a delay a level 
Be delayed B level. Well, that's weird. Okay. One more. <laughs> Let's go lo fi. Yeah? Right, now, under all of these, you have a step sequencer. Let me change the size because it makes it a little bit more easy to see. Of which you can do anything you like. <laughs> it's quite fun. So let's do this. So this is controlling the mix. Let's go sample rate. Let's turn it on. The gate, can you see what that does? That's actually pretty cool. The floor, moves it higher or lower. I, I do like this, now the shape. Oh, that's cool, isn't it? Right, let's go to the mix. Let's change the shape so it's smoother. Phasing it, we'll just shift it. Let's gate it with the smooth. You can have an awful lot of fun with this, folks. Let's put the sample on. This is a shroom. This is basically like an intelligent um, randomizer. So if we press it. Wow. It's got a modulator, phaser, chorus, tape. If we press this. This randomizes the series of this. Doesn't really change it much, but anyway. Mix, full mix. Wow. Okay. So, uh, let's press shroom again. That's fairly cool. Let's turn this on. Now, can you see it's dancing all over the place? Well, that is because it is connected to the XY pads. See this? Right, so how do we do that? Well, right click and you get your macros. So X and Y. Now, if you want them to follow X, you tick X. If you want to follow Y, you tick Y. So let's tick X and let's see what happens. Uh, I want to slow down X because it's going slightly too crazy for me. Let's slow down to uh, eight notes. Uh, let's go uh, six notes. Yeah. I might have said that it, this can get a little bit, ah, it's doing my eyes in if it was going too crazy. So let's go back to a nice calm. See, this is now moving. Let's turn it on X. Now that's quite sudden, isn't it? So if we wanted to make it less sudden, uh, the shape. See? more signy humanize with just now if we press this random button oh it randomizes it slightly shuffles steps oh, I like that let's go back to the base cabinet it becomes a little bit smoother here again let's smooth these steps I do like that let's gate them slightly Nice. Let's go back to XY. Isn't that cool? There we go. Let's try a new instant. So let's go to, um, let's go to um, synth trance gate. Let's try that. So this is trance gate. That's nice. Let's turn the XY on now. And I want to see now in here you've got presets for your sequences complex cobra kai let's load something else gated crazy horse 
let's let, let's now let's modulate this with X Y. Try what? Well, that's quite nice, isn't it? Try tape. Let's tape high. Let's modulate. And what? Well, that's quite cool. Okay. Uh, let's, what's the delay doing? Let's play. That's nice. Let's modulate that with X. I mean, that's a cowbell. I mean, that's really, oh, it just makes me happy. Because that's just, f f oh, it's just fun. There's the original. Okay, so I've got half global mix. Uh, let's gate it. Smooth, gated. Oh, it just makes me smile. I mean, this is this is a toy for sound, um, and it just it, I I love it. I love the fact that you can go so deep. You can see. I mean, all of these have their own sequencer, and that sort of makes me go what? Now, if you if I changed to vocal depth this is on on the vocal let's turn on let's go to filter now on these presets there are all of these and again that's another thing that makes me smile it's not the same presets for each um preset it's not the same sequence presets for the same set preset if you if you see what i mean so you've got ADHD. Bubble. Oh, what's this? Subtle sweep. Ooh, that's a subtle sweep. I mean, yeah, change it again. Ooh, Rosie's pins. Rosie pins. It's all right. So complex Cobra Kai. These, so these is for, this is for X and Y. Shapes, polyangle. This is just for X, actually. And for this one, shapes, ramps. Let's go for widener. Presets, again, motion. Shud, strutter fudder. I mean, yeah, I mean, you could get lost in this for hours. Um, so, um, Lunatic Audio, I think you've come up with a really, really fun toy. and. To top it off, it makes it even more fun by intelligently shrooming it. Let's press a shroom. See what it sounds like. Oh, I mean, I really like that. So if you like that, you can either favorite it there or um, save preset. Under shroom magic? Yes, please. And it's done. Um, yay. So first things first is I, I created this loop um, just with the cowbell. So I just recorded that straight into Easy Drummer. I then put Narcotic on it. And we had a sort of an extreme <laughs> K-hole <laughs> on it. And this is what it sounded like. So you've got toxins, tremolo, phaser, retro, chorus, and tape. Now, for sake of CPU, and it didn't seem to be too bad, actually. I would bounce them down. So this was after the bounce down with a bit of mixing, but anyway. Let's 
Yeah. So um, don't worry too much um, about what I've done mixing so far. Now, loop two. I had another loop two. Just did the accents on their own. Put narcotic on it and we had filter fun. Yeah, um, I then bounce that down. And together I had these and this set me up for the whole thing. Yeah, so it's, it's quite interesting and sort of loopy and um, I got clicky with it. <laughs> and and basically that's what I did. I did uh, another thing with an uh, another loop here. Um, so I did this without narcotic. So that was my slightly off rhythm. I then put narcotic and I put it uh, at the catch up delay, which I think we already played with, didn't we? So this was this. I mean, I love that. I bounced that down. I pitched it to this. To go up. So with, with all my loops. Yeah, it's sort of... um. CSI montage, isn't it? Anyway, um, so that's what started me off on this journey. Let me talk. Let me talk to you about then my bases without anything. This was just it. So, so I did it on what da 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 da. da. I then pitch shifted it. Yeah, I then bounce that down, which is over here. There we go, and I put narcotic on it. And I had a bass crunch diver, crunch driver on it. I mean, nice, eh? Let's do it again. That's just a really nice sound. The next one I had for my bass, again, I sound shifted it just down. Yeah. So I had this on it, which was a bass and I, and I created my uh, sort of edited a preset and I call it JS Angel Anger, JS Angel Anger, because I, I created my own JS user thing from presets which is very useful and I loved it and this was it oh. without it with it I mean come on what you can do with this is quite fun I then bounce that down even more and I I put a reverb on it I made my sort of a cathedral reverb out of it. So I used a uh, spaced out and reverb basically. And I EQ'd it slightly as well. So this is what we ended up with. So I just pushed it back slightly. Because I wanted uh, below this a sort of a, a throb, I thought I know I know I'm strictly speaking slightly cheating but I just wanted the equivalent of a sine wave underneath you know just on this I think it was a B flat so I did put a signal generator in that again it's just I think it was a B flat so I put it at 58 hertz I think it's B flat I think that's what we were dealing with um bounced it down 
and I put narcotic on it. Give it some wobble. And um, I loved it for that. <laughs> uh, let me talk you through, I think the next thing uh, would be the um, Kelber loops. So I wanted something that was not kicky, but giving me a fundamental rhythm. Oh, this is what I started with. You know, cowbell time, fever for cowbell. So instead of just having the cowbell, I did put a compressor on it to give it a bit more smack with. I then put narcotic on it. I mean, seriously. How good is this? I then EQ'd it a bit and I compressed it again. That was for the mix purposes. Now, um, I then bounced that down and we ended up with this. And obviously, um, yeah, in solo, out of the mix, you probably think, well, that sounds thinner than it did. Yes, it does, but actually, in the mix, it didn't quite work well. It was peaking and getting all bit, you know, woofy. If that's a word, is it a word? Anyway, we had this. I just did this with the cowbell. No, I just had these two. Put narcotic on it. Again, true magic. Shooey down without. With. Um, are you are you slightly following how it can be quite inspiring? With my other, I'll call it a kick. Was this? Yeah, I then I then called it a ticker. All this was was just me going with the sample, or just that with um. Easy drummer, this is it. And I've EQ'd it right up here. And I also have used this because it's free. Auto pan. Let me just play it. Let me just show you what it does in isolation. Bypass. It, it makes it slightly more interesting for me. Anyway, um, those are my rhythms. Those are my perks. Um, let's just make you inactive to save on CPU. Um, uh, here, I called it FXs. And they all they were were me playing around with single samples and coming up with goodness knows what. Um, this is just me playing around with FXs. <laughs> Again, these are just single samples, all th all through narcotic. Okay, there we go. Right, that's got on to um, that's got me on to the next topic: transitions. Take a sample, reverse it, and you've got a riser. <laughs> this so this was the sample. Right, I then put it into a big spaced out reverb with a bit of pitch drift. And this was. The result. Yeah. I then bounced that down um, and I reversed it and this is it. There you go. Put it through narcotic. It makes me smile. 
Uh, so these were risers, four, four bar blow down. I mean, it was a preset anyway, so I didn't have to put tremolo on it, didn't have to put gate on it, but that's what you do. You put a gate on it and just do that. Sorry, one thing we haven't talked about, I called it the tunes. So I just had to make other things inactive to save on my CPU. So um, I, 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 I then got, I got melodic because I felt I needed some sort of tune. So I had this sample again, I put this on it. So what I did, pitch shift it and reverbed it. So I put it down, I bounced it down here. That's what it was. I then uh, reversed those. What I ended up doing is uh, taking, let's say five samples and recording them or bouncing them down one at a time on the pitch that I wanted using this. Now, all I did was I, I bounced it down about five times with different pitches like here. So I'll do that one lower. I might do the next one higher. Right, so that's the, that's the slow version of, of how to do it. Now you could do it in a sequence. So if I had, um, you know, five, five notes, I put them in and I want that one at, uh, the sample I want this up a bit on this down on this next one up and this one next down however I couldn't tune these exactly I found it I found it a li little bit time consuming and I just thought okay I want it fairly easy let's just bounce them down easier I ended up with uh what are we doing uh these Yeah, um, just, just to give it a little bit of uh, tunage. And I did the same thing on this bit. So I called it tuning cowbell. I, so I basically took that single cowbell sample, I pitch drifted it through narcotic, ended up with this as a tune. The same principle as I did before, but then I decided to put the whole thing through narcotic and I ended up with this as a sort of a tune. Yeah, so that was bas basically as melodic as I got. So this was my uh, theme section. Uh, with bass, effects, loops, and all of that. Here we go. Yeah? Now, uh, when I was playing around with this, I came up with the structure and it needed, if, you know, if I had a synth, I'd put in a pad, but i am just got this sample. So how do we make a pad out of a single hit? I will tell you what I did. Now, again, sort of slightly cheated. Um, I'll, 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 let, me, let me show you what I started up with. I started with this sample as normal. Okay. Um, I actually, if you hear, I took the attack off it. Can you hear that? So it wasn't quite as attacky. I then put it through narcotic and I made it sort of a, I call it JS pad maker. Basically I pitch shifted it. I made it a longer tail and this is it. This is it. So quite a long tail. I then bounced it down. And then what I, I sort of did is I, I stretched it slightly. Um, with the time stretch um, algorithm in Pro Tools. I then reversed it, I, I then joined it. So you have a sort of a swell thing. You've sort of got a bit of artifacts, but you know, I didn't really care. It's only a cowbell. <laughs> I then put it through narcotic and I, I put it through more reverb, more pitch shift and widened it. And it became this.
So I just added that octave there, really. So so I, I added up the octave, but kept it at 50% mix. I then bounced that down. I then had this, which I've just played you. But I compressed it a lot. I compressed it an awful lot just to smooth it out. If you see the difference, that's that. I had this. So this was my pad sample and I sort of, I took some attack off it. Now, I said I cheated a bit. I did cheat a bit and I do apologize. That in itself would have been cool, a lovely note, but I actually wanted to create some sort of chord. So I, I put the sample into contact around, uh, what are we, C3? Um, and I roughly put it around the octave between G and F, I think, or no, F sharp and G, something like that, just so it wouldn't sound too weird. Um, so I could play different notes. Here we go. I'm going to play uh, G to F with a C in the middle. So it's sort of, it's got that sort of spacey weirdness to it. Um, I mean, it's not, I didn't exactly spend a lot of time on it, so it's not brilliant. Um, I put it on loop and I, I made sure that if I took my finger off, it wasn't going to suddenly cut out. So I, I changed the ADSR settings. Um, sorry. Um, so that was that really. And I created just a little bit of a pad here on, I recorded it in and I bounced it down. So this is this is uh, the track. So you can hear the signal generator. Oops, bit of FX going on. And this was the pad what I played in without any processing. Put it up a bit. Yeah, I mean, that got me excited when I did that. I I wasn't content with that. So uh, what did I do? I put it through narcotic, but again, I just, I just want to save CPU because it might sound a bit glitchy. And we ended up with uh, spaced out to breathe it as a setting. Here we go. Without it with yeah I mean again it gave it, it certain certain different things now as you can see I did different things to different pads um, I did spaced out breathe it I also did um, spaced out lift off on this one as well my, this was my sweep that you heard earlier just on its own with a bit of EQ so I've so I just want to play that section, but I've I've added back in the loops. These are the loops with the pads and the signal generator and the ticker. What else? And a bit of FX. Atmosphere. I'm gonna I'm now gonna show you the full track. Um this is, so here's the picture. So there's the man with the magnifying glass looking at arrows. So this is investigation. This is Sherlock meets cartoony man, CSI thing, montage. Anyway, enjoy this.
so there is my cowbell track um i hope you liked it um i certainly had an awful lot of fun making it uh a narcotic um it's you know it puts a smile on my face so again for those that know me if something puts a smile on my face thumbs up for me so if you like this uh please give it a like if you like what i do please subscribe to the channel and you'll be notified of anything else i do in the future obviously i'm open to inspiration and challenges and, and fun as always so as uh, as normal i will put uh, a link down below where you can get the tracks and stems if you so need in the meantime stay well stay safe and i'll see you both soon bye